Hello YouTube, Desiki here, and welcome back to our Let's Play Faster Than Light series. Last time we had uh, just made it into Sector 2, which uh, the first beacon was a, um, was a nebula. Um, nothing, uh, nothing actually to do here, but, um, but let's just jump to the next sector. Um, I want to go a little bit uh, more into detail here. So, so essentially the, uh, the new sector that we jumped to is a nebula sector. So you see the entire, or almost the entire map is nebulas. So it's all this purple gas that you see everywhere. I've been going out, going about it a little wrong, I feel, about, um, about how I felt about the, uh, um, the nebula sectors and also how, how I'm going about the strategy with the, uh, with the game. And, um, and a lot of this is coming from, from different comments that I'm getting from, uh, from different viewers. And I really appreciate all the, all the comments you've been giving me. Um, I feel it's, it's actually really helpful in, in sort of, grasping the game in a different uh, in a different perspective um, nebula is actually yes you do lose the sight of uh, of what's happening within your ship uh, if uh, one of your crew members is not in one of the rooms or one of the service rooms however it does slow down um, the um, the I was gonna say the bandits but the uh, rebels uh, from catching up so so they themselves from actually coming into the sector it's uh, it's a little bit slower for them so that's actually of a, of a huge benefit uh, that does give us the ability to visit all, all or most of the beacons in the sector, which consequently gives us a higher chance of getting more um, scrap parts. So when we get scrap um, scrap metal, scrap parts, that's essentially money, money that allows us to either purchase um, other crew members or uh, or other uh, other abilities. So what I'm going to be focus on, focusing on right away is probably getting a second uh, second level of shields. And seeing if I can get an additional crew member, possibly. So let's just uh, let's just get started here. Jump to the next sector, where we expect it to be um, pretty much a, a nebula in this case. Um, so it's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships uh, at the small station is offering a deal. So they want two drone parts and give us uh, ten fuel. So we don't actually use drones with this ship right now. We don't have the actual service ability. So let's go for that trade. Uh, one other thing I'm noticing right now is that Kyle, uh, Billy's okay. So Kyle and um, Kyle and Belkut are uh, unfortunately a little bit damaged at the moment. So I'm just gonna get them to go in here, and that should help out a bit. Um, so the doors are all open on uh, on all extremities, so that's fine. And let's just jump to the next sector now. Um, we only have three scrap metal here, so uh, there's no point in going straight to the store. However, we don't have much of an option. So if we go down here, we're not, it's not going to link to anything else. However, if we go to the store, we have all these other, option, other options. So, so let's just go there for now. We're going to have options maybe... Um, yeah, so we have the store abilities here. We have cloaking, mind control, hacking. Um, all these are actually quite nice. Scrap recovery arm would be very useful. Um, weapon pre-igniter. So I believe that increases weapons are made immediately available after an FTL jump. So that's nice. But um, emergency respirators. Huh. I think an Engie would be nice. Basically, they um, they repair much faster. And um, unfortunately, in terms of combat, they're not really doing very much. Um, but it's all 50, 55. I you know, we can't purchase any of this. We do want to keep both our weapons and uh, yeah, whatever. We can't really do anything here. We knew we knew coming in that we couldn't really do anything here. All right, so let's go to another sector. This can go. Yeah, that's fine. So let's go here when we'll 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 kind of go downwards. See what we have available here. All right, a uh, heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Um, so either we attempt to follow them uh, and help, or we just keep our position. So let's go after them. Um, you get lucky and find them floating not too deep into the nebula. Uh, thrilled to be found by friendlies, uh, they come on board and abandon their wrecked ship. So that means that I believe we gained... There we go. Zerimar. So Zerimar... Are, what are you, Zerimar? Let's go find out. Let's click on my... Ship menu here. Let's go look at our crew. Zerimar is a slug. 
Uh, telepathic powers reveals uh, reveal rooms and life forms even when sensors are down. So that's awesome for the nebula right now. And it is also immune to mind control. So uh, let's first... Hmm. All right, I'm going to rename you, however. That's one thing I've been doing so far. And since uh, since you're not an Engie, which I promised one of my subscribers I would name them, you're not an Engie, so I will name you Detective Nico. So let's just call you Nico. Nico's good. I like it. All right, now Nico, where am I going to station you? I'm going to put you in the shields room. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. So you're in the shields room. We have Kyle in the weapons room. We have Billy in the engines room. <clears throat> okay, I think we're pretty good. So let's move on. Uh, so I said we we're going to go to this one. Let's go on to the next here. What happens? What happens? All right. So a uh, black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers. Um... Of the nebula before pushing his wares. Um, what shall we do? What do we have here? So he has he has low in terms of primary assault. We don't get that much information. However, shields are low. So let's go for an attack. I'm gonna start pausing right away. Now this is this is a whole other thing. In terms of my attack strategy, I think I've been going. So they have the teleport ability. Teleport ability. Uh, I believe in this case, I'm going to request that. Uh, Oh, this is rough. I do want to have that increased uh, dodge ability. But if they do teleport, they're going to be coming into the ship. And they're likely just going to... Uh, they're likely just going to attack us all. So... Let's start off with the... Um, let's see here. So if we take the Artemis missile... We have only have two missiles left, so I'm really not going to be using this, uh, these too much. I'm going to get the Artemis missile to go after their shields right off the bat. Uh, where are the shields? So, it's going to start off here, and uh, I'm going to time it so that uh, the burst uh, the burst laser actually goes on after it. So, everybody goes in this room. Are you going to fire? And... All right. Now this is, I'm not going to reuse this again, right? Right now what we're going to do is we're going to take our burst lasers and we're going straight to their weapons. Now that their shields are down, now is the, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to cancel this. I don't want to be using it while they're repairing. That's fine. Just fire at it. Fire, are you not firing at it? Go for it. Go, go, go. Excellent. Um... The enemy ship appears to be powering its FTL. It's trying to escape. So the weapons are taken care of. Nothing's going to happen with those. Uh, let's go straight to their engine room. Right here. And this guy just teleported out. So they just damaged our engine room. That's not a huge deal. We can go back in there and repair. And uh, yeah, there you go. Shields are back up. Going to attack that with... There we go. All right. Everything's taken care of. So let's go back here. So we got 26 uh, scrap metal, scrap material. My apologies. Um, uh, two more missiles, which is perfect because we ran out of missiles with that last shot. And um, one additional uh, drone part. So, all right, here we go. Nico, go back in there. Belkut, go back to the front. And Billy, let's go here and uh, repair. So I'm going to get Kyle to help you out repair this room. And we should be good after that. So automatically, all of these items kind of pull away from the power source. And if we can repair this very quickly, we should be good. All right. Kyle, back in here. Everything's powered properly. Um, I, powered down, I powered down the Artemis missile, but that's okay. So let's jump to the next sector. Beacon, that is. Um, yeah, so let's go to this one here. So so far they're they're moving slowly. They're still moving into the sectors, but they're uh, they're they're very they're going very very slowly. So uh, so this is actually working working to our advantage. Um, before actually going to, because I think that we're going to be going back to the store, and that's the only store right now on this map. So let's go. I think one. Our best option right now, I think, is to go to this one. Or this one. It really doesn't matter at this point. Uh, let's just go to this beacon. 
probably get a little bit more scrap metal if possible. Uh, pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact uh, that is attempting to void your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. So let's go after this pirate. Paused it array. Um, you, uh, you power up your weapons and move in to engage. I don't even know why I felt it was necessary for me to read that. Uh, okay, so let's start again. We're going to keep everybody in their appropriate rooms. They do have the teleport, but it doesn't seem to be powered right now, or at least they don't seem to be engaging it. As soon as I see them engaging it, I'm going to bring everybody into the med bay, um, except for Kyle, because I absolutely need somebody uh, manning those uh, those weapons. Uh, however, I'm going to keep Belkut and... Um, Belkut and Billy in the uh, engine room and the uh, and the control room, basically to increase the uh, the evade probability. Because right now it's only at twenty percent. Uh, very quickly, I'm not sure if it's the control room or the engine room that actually increases the uh, the probability of that. But I'm going to keep them both in the rooms. Now we have the Artemis missile. Artemis missile going straight for the um, going straight for the shields. And as soon as that's taken care of, we're going to be firing. All right, so. Right off the bat, we have somebody in this room. Let's move everybody in here. This is not what we were hoping for. But with this, let's open this door. And let's open this door. Hopefully that'll take a little bit of damage on them. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Now they're running out of this room. Run out of this room. Wherever they go now, they're going to be taking damage. And I totally missed on what was happening with our Artemis missile. So let's charge it up again. Yeah, I'm not enjoying you right now. All right, so that's been hit. Artemis missile, we're out of missiles, unfortunately. Let's go to their weapons room. One, two, three, that's been damaged. Now we're going after their... I believe at this point it's better off going after the engines in case they want to run away. That's what we want to go for. All right, you guys are going to be taking care of them. This is really not an issue. And uh, they look like they want to uh, they want to take flight, uh, trying to escape, but we're already firing at this. No more Artemis missiles, so we can't do anything about that. So either way, let's go. Let's go after the shields one way or another. Shields are back up, but uh, there's not too much that they can do at this point. So let's just uh, fire three bursts. One is probably going to help out. I can close these doors down. Because nobody is in our ship anymore. Now I'm going to take Belkut back to the front. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait a bit. Excellent. That was very good. So we got 18 scrap. Wait for everything to come back in terms of oxygen. Belkut, go back to the front. How's the damage looking for the remainder of the... Yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, Alright, Billy. Go back to the back. So it's at 15 as soon as he goes into there. Goes up to 20. And if I remove Belkut, obviously it goes down to zero. So so we need, this gives us a plus five for, uh, for dodge, or I'm sorry, evade. This gives us the base 15 that we have right off the bat. Uh, right, so Nico, go back into the shields room. Otherwise, everything's looking good. Um... We have 47. I still want to jump. I still want to go for another sector. They're they're moving so slowly over here, so it's really not an issue. Um, although that store is close. Okay, let's go back a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Um, there's nothing here. Save the vast worlds of gas reflecting rays from the distant sun. There's absolutely nothing in this sector. That's unfortunate. They're still catching up. Uh, so at this point... What should we do at this point? All right, back to the store. And at this point, we have 47 scrap material. We should repair. Now we have 41. However, I don't think there's much that we can buy. Can we sell anything? We'd sell this for nine. No, we want to keep these. Can we buy additional? Yeah, that's probably what we should be getting right now. All right, for six, we get two missiles. So let's get... That's all they had available. I thought it was times two. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, 
All right, I don't think there's much else we can do at this point. Okay, let's get out of here. They're catch it. They're about to be here, so let's go at least to the sector that we have not been to before. Let's go over here. What happens in this beacon? Uh, you cycle through wideband comm channels as soon as you arrive. Nothing but static. All right, so there's there's not much going on. Uh, we really do need to move though. So if we move to this beacon, no, we're gonna have to go down and then up. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna have to go a little bit quicker, but we're jumping quite a quite a bit ahead. So we'll go to this beacon, probably this one afterwards, and then at the end here. Um, I'm going to do this last beacon. I think I'm going to put a cut in this episode. All right, you arrive to the uh, you arrive in the nebula and immediately receive a message from an unknown source. Prepare to be boarded with the static from the nebula. There's no way to tell where the com uh, where they where they came from. Um, but you hear shots fired on uh, on board the ship. So we automatically have people boarded into our ship. Let's get everybody Everybody into the med bay. Uh, I think that would be the best option here. I'm going to open these doors. You guys are going to rush right through. You need to run out. Um, and we're going to take all of the oxygen out. Absolutely everywhere. Everywhere, so these guys are going to be taking a lot of damage, even though they're going after our weapons. I don't really care about those. Uh, Belkut, I'm going to bring you into this smaller room here. Otherwise, I think, I think we're going to be okay. All right, what are you doing? Are you trying to blow up our door? That is not going to help anybody. All right, you guys didn't really do very much, did you? Yeah. One, two, one, two. Oh, wow. That door's open. That's not good. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're ready. Let's close all these doors down. All right. We need air. Air is good. And shut this down, shut this down, shut this down. You too. Everything's looking good here. Unfortunately, we really didn't get much out of this. And uh, let's get Kyle. Maybe there's a bit of repairs to do in the, uh, in the weapons room. Otherwise, otherwise, I think we're good. So this is a little bit of a waste, but uh, before we actually jump to our next beacon, I'm going to put a cut in this episode, and um, and we'll move on. In the, we're still in Sector 2 right now, so we're going to be moving on in this nebula. But I think the strategy here, the, the main idea is to, to visit the, the most amount of, uh, of beacons that you can in one sector to get as much scrap material, consequently getting as much... Um, as much value back, so either through weapons or through uh, hiring staff, crew members or things like that. So uh, if you guys uh, like what you see, please like and subscribe to get a, to get more of my uh, Let's Play videos. If you have any comments, please leave some below. I'm answering absolutely everybody, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.